Okay, hi there. So I just want to make a quick video on something I missed in the last one, um, which is the dollar sign syntax. So here I have my app.svelte, and I've got my store, counter store, and it's just a normal store, importing writable and then creating the store. This will be the value of the counter store. Um, so over here, I'm going to import the counter store. Import counter store from dot slash counter store dot js. Okay, so now I have access to this counter store. And over here, let's say I want to display the value of the counter store. You might think, oh, okay, I'll just put counter store. But the counter store is actually an object, okay? So in order to get the actual value of what's inside the store, you're going to put a dollar sign right there, okay? And then you'll see you got a zero. So if I change this, then it'll be four or whatever. Um, so before I was showing you, like, counter, I was showing you something like counter store dot subscribe, and then every time every time um, the value changed it would update it with like a f with a function here so this was one one way you could do it anyway I'm not gonna go through that you can see the other video for that um, another thing you can do then so let's say I have a function increment and whenever it's called I want to increment the value of the store then I can also just like that um, reference the value of the store and do plus plus to make it go up and then if I have a button and I do on click equals increment then what's going to happen well every time I click it it's going to go up one 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 so uh, that's a simpler way uh, to reference the value of the store and you know maybe I pass maybe I make a um, a more complex store with an object and I say like value is zero comma and then um, something like name equals cool store so same thing you can so this won't work anymore because now the store value is an object so I would just have to do something like counter store dot value plus plus and here counter store dot value okay so that's gonna work and then I'd also be able to access the other part of it which is counter store dot dot name like that cool store okay and so that will allow you to easily reference the value of your store okay that is all.